Welcome in, everybody, and thanks for joining us here on our fourth YouTube channel podcast. This is actually being recorded on Wednesday, December the 16th. We have the Friday wrong there. Uh, welcome in today. Got a lot of good things to talk about, some new, some new inventory to show you. We're going to be talking about that. We're going to talk about some market trends that we see going on in 2016, and we're also going to talk about the infamous daisy chain. Yes. Today, we're going to talk about the infamous daisy chain. I've talked about that just in a couple of slides. Um, the, some of the reasons I get asked often in the last few weeks, why are we doing these and why are we not sending out tapes like we once did? Um, we have a fairly large um, list of people that we market to and for. Um, we stopped doing it really just because the tapes that we were sending out were getting recirculated and rebranded, um, sent out um, to people that shouldn't have their hands on them. And it just became problematic. So we just made the decision that um, putting our content on the Internet, having it more content-based, um, using the YouTube channel was a more effective way to um, present our inventory and to educate folks of what's going on in the in the current investment real estate space. Uh, we'll be doing these at least once a week. We're doing them early this week. We've been releasing these on Monday. Um, we're going to release this one on Wednesday today um, just because we've got the holidays coming up and there's a lot of anxious people out there trying to buy and there are some sellers out there aggressively trying to sell. So we're going to we're going to be releasing this one today, um, Wednesday, December the 16th. We, again, we'll be doing these once a week. Um, we will be having some guests in after the first of the year. I got my contact information up there. Um, you can email me, you can call me, or you can text me. Not a horrible way to get a hold of me if you're looking to, to chat about a particular product that we have um, available and you just want to send me a text, we'll be glad to schedule a time to talk to you about that. Our goal, our goal for these broadcasts are really just to simply streamline, streamline the process a little bit. Um, inventory, introduce our weekly inventory. You're going to see some brand new inventory up here today. Um, we're going to provide summaries of that inventory. I would invite you, if you've not been on one of these in the past, to get a pencil and paper out. We're going to have numbers associated with each new um, offering that we have. And so you want to write that down so when you contact us, we'll know which tape and or which list that you're looking to um, acquire. We will only send those lists out upon request. Yes, we will do be, be doing a much better job of vetting people in the future. We made some mistakes last year. Most of you, or many of you know this, that we did send tapes out to people who weren't actually buyers, and they, they then would take those tapes and they would make the wallpaper out of them and put them on Facebook and, and LinkedIn and whatnot. So you need to request the tape from us. Um, the goal is to eliminate wasting people's time, real simple. We want to be able to marry up the, the buying community with the selling community in, in, a, in an effective way. Um, that's transparent, that allows for buyers and sellers to, to successfully um, transact and um, close on transactions. Um, we want to be a hub of information. We want to be a place where you can come on a weekly basis and kind of hear what's going on in the industry. I'm going to talk about some of that today. Um, my topic being the, the infamous daisy chain. We're going to talk about that. And we're going to be providing a visual. You're going to be able to see some of the inventory, but, but I want you to note you're not going to see the entire tape. So the entire tape of any particular list of properties that are available out there, you're only going to see a summary that you have to contact us to acquire that list. What we foresee in 2016, just a real brief um, overview of what we see going on in the market. We do think that prop, uh, prices are going to continue to rise. The market's going to continue to rebound. Interest rates will rise slightly, and they did just about two hours ago. I just got a notice um, had an article I've read, the feds did raise the interest rate one quarter percent. We knew that was going to happen. Frankly, but I should point out too, just to be totally honest here, I knew that because I interviewed somebody on my radio show almost a year ago and his, his, uh, forte was predicting not only market trends, but really interest rates and where the interest rates were going. And he told me then he said, it's going to, by the end of this year, you'll see a slight increase, a quarter to a half a percent. That's exactly what we saw. We expected that. We expect to see an influx of foreign investors. That's We've already seen that. Um, we're seeing that already now. We're seeing more groups um, have contacts with foreign investors, particularly um, Asia, um, Australia, Canada, uh, Canadian investors. Um, this is going to continue to be a buyer's market, folks. There's a lot of inventory out there. More inventory, more inventory than buyers means you've got stabilized prices. Lots of people out there right now with excess inventory trying to move it. Um, so prices have stabilized a little bit. Broker protocol is absolutely going to tighten. And if you're a broker, I, I, I encourage you to stay on this on, on this podcast at least for another 10 minutes or so and hear what we have to say about um, the infamous daisy chain and how I think this is affecting the market. Um, but broker protocol is absolutely going to tighten. It already has tightened, just most people don't know it. And we will be launching our new podcast on Blog Talk Radio by the end of the first, first quarter. We've been trying to do that for several months now, a number of reasons why we haven't done it. We have been on 
uh, Real Estate Radio Live last year, which is uh, the Wall Street Radio Network up in San Francisco. We moved away from that for a lot of reasons. One being is that we just didn't have much exposure. We were only broadcast in the Bay Area. So we wanted to go to internet radio all along. Where we'll be doing that by the end of the first quarter. In the meantime, we'll be feeding our content onto this YouTube channel. Uh, current market conditions... Um, Prices have stabilized, as I mentioned. This is absolutely a buyer's market. I already mentioned that. Large tapes and portfolios that are stabilizing cash flowing have gone up in price. This is really important. If you're going to bid on a stabilized list of properties, the days of offering 50 to 75% of the fair market value are gone, at least for the moment. And I'm bringing this up because we have had a lot of hard heartburn in the last probably eight to 10 weeks with regards to people offering at, you know, 60, 70% of fair market value on a particular list of properties and then the seller rejecting it. And frankly, I've had people be flat out upset with me and saying, Charlie, why couldn't you get our offers uh, accepted? And it's like, I, you can't force a seller to accept something. And the reality of it is right now, if you own a stabilized cash flowing portfolio at 10, 12, 14%, um, you're not highly motivated to sell that at a deep discount. I know it used to be that if you bought in bulk that you automatically saw a discount, and that's still true. You can still get discounts if you buy in bulk. But what we're seeing right now is we're not we're seeing that those stabilized assets um, sellers be more um, aggressive in how they're going to how they're going to price those. So do not expect to buy those at 60 percent of market value right now if they are in a preferred state. I'm talking about California, Arizona, Nevada, Texas, uh, Georgia, New York, New Jersey, Florida. You have to expect pricing to be in the 70 to 95% of value. And when I say 95%, by the way, I'm really talking about places like some areas of Texas, certainly California, some places in Arizona. Those markets are going to be close to 95% of value. That's just where we're at in the market right now. If you're looking for deals, the deals can be found in REOs. The REO stock, whether it be private or whether it be bank-owned stock, and I've got a number of tapes like that, and we'll talk about that later on in the podcast. But if, you, if you're looking for that kind of stock, or excuse me, looking for that kind of discount, this type of stock you're looking for is REO stock. Vacant, needing rehab, I'm going to show you a couple of tapes that I'm talking about, but that's where you can get your good buys. If you're looking to do flips, if you're looking to put stuff under contract and then sell it, if you're looking to you know, buy something in order to fix it up and, and cash flow it, the best value you're going to get right now is going to be an REO stock. It's not going to be in cash flowing, turnkey, rehabbed, rented, performing portfolios. Those are those are going to be those have gone up quite a bit in price. There's still lots of inventory, and yes, we can customize a tape or a list for you by telling us what your buying criteria is, what you're buying, where you're buying it at. We can even search now by zip county, city, and state. And I'm going to give you my son Matt's contact information in a couple slides. He is the man to go to with regards to customizing lists for you to, to pick properties off of. The infamous daisy chain, yes, we've all been in them. We all hate them. We all say we are never part of them. And yet for some reason, we continue to get sucked into them. Many of you know, and the reason I'm doing this today is because the IMN show was in Scottsdale, Arizona last week. And I talked to a number of people that were there, mainly the hedge fund guys, the REITs, the sort of the larger players in the industry. And man, I had two fascinating conversations, two different people, two different companies who just basically told me some stories that were funny and yet tragic because the buying community has largely gotten on to the fact that some people take these tapes, rebrand them and reblast them out to the point where there's actually a blacklist. There's actually people out there that's no particular individuals that do that. And they have just said, if, if that person's anywhere involved in it, don't even bother to send me the tape. Furthermore, to make it even more interesting, I heard stories about how different groups might give tapes to people that aren't even accurate and watch them circulate it and try to sell it, wasting people's time, buyers and sellers, and even the broker that's sending it out. This is becoming a problem. I was involved in a chain this past week made an offer on some on, on a nice set of REOs. It was a $13 million bid. I thought I was dealing directly with the source. I was told I was dealing directly with the source. My bad. As many of you know, we go out of our way to, to see to it that when you see a, a, a list of properties from us, that we have done our job in vetting it out to ensure that we are direct to the seller or the seller's rep. That's okay. If the seller has a rep, in many cases they do, uh, you, you have to deal with the rep. And there's nothing wrong with that. But 
I found myself in the middle of a chain, true story, that by the time I unwound it, when I unrang the bell and got all the way back to the source, I'd gone through six people. Six people. If you're going to get deliver us a tape or anybody else's tape, you, the protocol in 2016 has to tighten up. If you're a broker and you want to continue to have success in this space, my advice to you is you got to clean it up because people are figuring it out. People are getting blacklisted. And worse than that, people are wasting their time. So my advice, first, you got to ask all the right questions. Are you and, you and for those of you that know me and have talked to me on the phone, this is what I do, right? I get on the phone and say, you direct to the seller? Okay, then if you're not, who is? I need to talk to them. And if I can't, and I had one the other day. I got to the, to the buyer's rep, talked to the broker. I happen to know this broker. This broker does not always deliver a, a deliverable product. I just couldn't go any further with it. That was the end of it right there. I said, you know what? I, I can't trust it. How far removed are you? You need to find out how far you are removed from the actual seller. You need to find out who's paying fees and how many people are in the, in the chain. If you've got four, five, six people that don't even deliver us a tape like that or a list of properties like that, if there's a whole bunch of people in it, it's not worth anybody's time. Um, how is this affecting brokers' ability to consummate transactions? I cannot, I cannot stress this enough. Many of you don't know this, and so I'm here to tell you this. If you're out there rebranding and circulating tapes, I had a tape today that I had an offer on last week that somebody tried to sell me back today. I got the tape back, and I, I kept saying, no, that's not a legit tape. Oh, yes, it is. I've talked to the person. It's totally, no, I'm telling you, it's not legit. It's not a legit tape. You're, how do I put this? Continuing to circulate tapes that you aren't direct to or that you don't have direct access to or that you haven't talked to somebody that is direct to it or has control over it is going to result in failure, repeated failure. Worse yet, those of you that continue to do that, you're going to continue to be called out and blacklisted by people who understand that's what you're doing. The buying community knows this, and that's why I'm bringing it up. And I, I used a Tommy Lasorda quote. Many of you, I'm, I'm from Los Angeles. I'm a big baseball fan. Many years ago, Tommy was interviewed at a press conference, and the, one of the reporters said to him, he said, Tommy, you know, we know you know the secret, what's going on behind the scenes with this particular trade. Can you just tell us? We, we won't tell anybody. Just let us know what's going on on the inside. And Tommy famously said, he said, it's not, I trust you with my secret. It's who you're going to tell is who I don't trust. Same principle applies here. I have somebody call me up and say, I've got direct access to a tape. I believe you. I believe that you are not. You know, you are an honest person. I believe that you're, you are legitimately direct to this. It's the person that gave it to you that I don't trust. And I see that happening all the time now with people that get tapes. And these are legitimate people, legitimate players in our space. But they got the tape from somebody else that wasn't credible. That's the problem. you got to dig to the bottom of it. Or again, I think it's going to really compromise your ability to close deals effectively in the ahead. Okay, let's talk about some inventory now. Tape number 401 is a 15 NPN pool. It's in Michigan. I was given this tape just yesterday. Um, this tape is, it's, there's 15 uh, NPNs on this tape. He's willing to take 45%. I think, I think he'll even take a little bit less than 45% of the unpaid balance. That's a really nice buy on that. He did, he's doing this for business reasons to get them off his book by, books by the end of the year. I've got one soft offer on these already today. I've only put these out to a handful of people. I've got one soft offer, but we'll be taking offers over the next couple days. This will be off our books fairly quickly. It's 15 NPNs. They're located in Michigan. Seller is willing to take 45% or less of the unpaid balance. Contact us for tape number 401. This was the nationwide tape that we were talking about. No, I'm sorry. This is not the nationwide tape. This is a tape of NPNs as well. We'll get to the, the, uh, the uh, REO tape here in a second. This is owned by a large investment fund. I know who they are. You'd know their name as well. They were under contract. They recently fell out. They're offering these at 49% of the BPO. That's approximately $34 million. This is a huge tape, 1,200 NPNs nationwide. It cannot be cherry-picked. You have to be able to buy the whole thing. I also know that they will take less than 49%. So there's a lot of room on this one. If we can get an offer in front of these, these folks, they're going to accept it. They want these off their books. They'd like to have them off their books by the end of the year. It's going to be a solid anywhere from probably $29, $28 million to $34 million. But you can't get that below 49% of the BPOs. That's tape number 402. We got this tape in Atlanta last week. This is a pretty nice tape. It can be bought in bulk. You can get a pretty nice rate if you buy it in bulk. If you want to cherry pick it, you can. But if you cherry pick it, they want to have a minimum of three. 
Um, but they've got some really nice properties on here. You can see the rents on here. These are nice properties, and they're not they're not um, killing you on these prices. There's some pretty competitive prices in here. These are all in the Atlanta area. They've all been rented. They've all been rehabbed. And that's tape number 403. And again, this seller is extremely aggressive, wants to get these sold possibly by the end of the year. Got a couple of really nice tapes in Houston this week. Now, this is one of those areas, by the way, Houston. This is Class B, rents from $950 a month to $1,700, so you're not, you're not buying C-Class property. The yields are pretty decent. The yields are all around 12%. And for Class B property, as you know, yields at 12% is not all that common. Usually you see yields in the 8 9 percent range with those types of, of, in, of, of stock. Um, that's tape number 404. Now remember something on these though. These are not properties you can come in and ask, you know, get 70 percent of you, These are going to be right around 80 to 85, maybe even 90 percent of asking or fair market value. So you're not going to get big discounts, but if you're looking for solid B quality stock in Houston, we got 20 very nice ones um, in stock as of right now. I've got a bunch of New York NPNs right now. They're all small lists. None of these lists are very large. I don't have a big list. The biggest list we had was 21, and we put those under contract two weeks ago. So they're not very big. They're smaller in size, but we've got a number of properties um, that are available in New York that are non-performing notes. We have an offer on the, the, the third note here, which is the Weirfield Street address. We have an offer on that at 630. It's not been accepted yet, but I did highlight it in yellow. But all these are available, and I got a number of different lists there. So if you're looking for notes in New York City, just reference tape 405. We can send you several different lists of those types of non-performing notes. Same with Florida. Just mentioned tape number 406. We've got a number of non-performing notes down. Matter of fact, we got some more non-performing notes in this morning from a private seller. Just asked to put those out to our buying community to see if there's any interest. But we're starting to see a number of notes shake loose now, um, particularly in Florida, Georgia, Pennsylvania, and New York. Tape number 407. If you're looking for Birmingham inventory, I have a mess of it right now. I've got inventory like this, which is lower priced uh, C-class product. I've also got some, I'd say, B-quality stock. Rents from, you know, seven to $1,000 a month, which in Birmingham is a pretty, pretty nice uh, rental amount. But we got a whole bunch of stuff in Birmingham. So if you contact us on Birmingham, just mention tape number 407 and then mention what kind of inventory you want there. Lots of folks down in Birmingham buy um, REOs, unrehabbed, non, uh, you know, vacant type of, of, of property. So if you're, if you're, tell us what you're looking for and reference tape number 407. Again, I've got a bunch of this stuff. I say probably close to two or 300 properties down there between REOs as well as stabilized um, performing inventory like these are here. Same applies in Detroit. Um, we got stuff in Detroit from 1000 up to $3,000 per door. Um, all REO stock. Um, if you mention tape number 408 and tell us what you're looking for. We've even got some Detroit perf uh, performing uh, inventory. I got that in today. I haven't even looked at the list yet. But um, somebody that had a bunch of inventory in Indianapolis, Indiana, gave me his Detroit list today, private seller. Um, all, all off-market stuff, um, but he's got a bunch in Indi He's got a bunch in Indianapolis. He has a bunch in Columbus, Ohio, and he, when I say a bunch, I mean over 500. And then he's got about 100 in Detroit that are all occupied, cash flowing, and performing. So, if you're interested in Detroit, just reference tape 408, and then reference the type of inventory you want. You know, you want REOs, the low end type of C quality REO product, or you're looking for cash flowing, performing inventory. We've got uh, product on both of those um, types of inventory. This was the REO tape I was talking about. So we get this tape at the beginning of every month. Um, it's got anywhere usually from 1,200 on the low side to about 1,700 on the high side. This month was a pretty thick list. There was over 1,700 when we started the month on these. Um, these can all be cherry picked. You can buy one of them. Um, if you tell us what market you're in, um, we can customize a list for you. In other words, um, if you just send us, you know, you know, Charlie, I'm looking for um, Butler, Pennsylvania area. Give us the zips. Um, give us the counties. Um, we can then search, and then we can pull out what's just in that list. Most people that market these types of lists just send the whole list out. We found that to be ineffective. Um, you're looking through 1,700 properties. You might never find the one that you're looking for or the 10 that you're looking for. On the other hand, if you tell us what you're looking for, we'll customize that for you. Just say, hey, Charlie, looking for REOs in Kansas or looking for REOs in Indiana, in Indiana or in Illinois or Alaska or Alabama. Just let us know where you're looking for stuff at. and We can customize that tape for you. So that's tape 409. We have this tape every month. 
It's updated at the beginning of every month. Um, actually, it's updated typically twice. I usually by the middle of the month, I get another tape. I'll be getting another uh, updated tape probably early next week would be my guess on those. So that is tape number 409. Those are REOs all across the country. What I love about this list, by the way, other than the fact that you can cherry pick it, is that there's lots of flex- flexibility on price. If you send me an offer via email, it doesn't have to be formal. Let's say you offer on uh, the, the uh, 10 Main Street, Detroit, Michigan address. They'll give you the access code so you can go get in. So you can go in and look at it, take a look around. If it looks good, then you, you obviously go to contract. If you, if you think it needs some, <coughs> excuse me, some more work than you thought, um, you can re, re, uh, reapply your offer or reissue your offer. I had these up here for two weeks now, and I thought I'd sell these the very first week. These are in Chicago. These are B-quality inventory. If you look at the rental amounts there, the rents are pretty solid. These are not C-class properties. They were they, The fair market value was 2.2. They told us they would accept 1.5. I was I was un, I was unsuccessful in in finding a buyer for these, um, so they've now slashed that to 1.25, which is about 55 percent, about 60 percent of fair market value. So those can be had for 1.25. I do have one potential offer coming in on those, but if you're looking for Chicago inventory, those are that's a that's a very good buy now. I've had these for a couple of weeks too. We got a couple of different lists of notes from the Park Street Group. We deal with these guys each and every month. Um, they buy notes um, uh, and they turn them into REOs, but and they sell them, at, you know, either as an REO or as a note. But they've got three different lists. They've got a performing note list. They've got a non-performing note list. They have an REO list. Um, that's tape number four eleven, four twelve, and four thirteen. Those can all be cherry picked. These can all be cherry picked. And they're these guys. I don't want to say they're desperate to get some of these sold. But any reasonable offer is going to be accepted. So if you're looking for performing or non-performing notes in Michigan, Ohio, or Indiana, or if you're looking for some REOs in Michigan, Ohio, or Indiana, contact us and ask for one of those three tapes, 411, 412, or 413. Um, there's some extremely good buys on those lists. Okay, portfolios for the week, and then I'll, I'll wrap it up. Portfolios for the week, we've got a few that we had from last week. We've got 77 in Atlanta. We've got 63 in Georgia, in, south, in the southern part of Georgia. That's Macon, Bibb County, et cetera. Um, that one cannot be cherry-picked. I mentioned Detroit. I'm not going to mention Detroit again. I've already gone over that once. There's a, i got a number of tapes in Detroit now. If you're looking for stock in New York in Detroit, we probably have something that will match it. I didn't have time to take off the Jacksonville 99. Tape number 4 sent 17 went under contract this morning. Um, that was 99 homes in Jacksonville. Some were rented. Some were vacant. Uh, we did get that right a pretty much pretty close to his $22,000 a door as a package but that did go under contract this morning we just got this from somebody that was at the IMN show last week it's a large fund is the broker that's selling this tape I cannot send this tape out without you signing an NDA it's 300 properties they're all single family they're all occupied they're all B class they're all performing it's a 52 million dollar tape it's a pretty large tape that's tape number 418 you'd have to contact us to get a copy of that tape. We cannot um, send that tape out to anybody without first getting an NDA signed with the, with the seller and, of course, vetting you out to, to, to confirm that uh, you have the financial ability to take down a tape that's significant. Finally, we've got 26 in and around Las Vegas or some in Vegas or some on the outskirts of Las Vegas. That's completely off market. Same sort of drill as the Arizona tape. We cannot p- publish that. Um, it's in our possession. It is available. I spoke to the bro- I am direct to the to the broker on this. I spoke to him a couple nights ago. Um, it's a legit tape. It's a clean tape. Um, it's a very well priced tape. Um, it's got to be sold as a package. There's no cherry picking on that tape. Um, but you got to contact us to get a copy of that tape. And if you just say Las Vegas or Nevada, um, I, did, I forgot to put a tape number on there. But if you just say Las Vegas or Nevada, um, we know which tape to send. We only have one right now in that market. So um, contact us with that tape. Okay, that's our YouTube channel video for the week. My name is Charlie Castro. Just a footnote, I put my son's name down here at the bottom, Matt Castro. Matt, as many of you have gotten, have, have learned over the last three or four weeks, we have changed how we do things internally quite a bit. We've revamped how we market um, for different sellers. Um, and so, and the YouTube channel is part of that. But the other part of that is, is Matt has come up with a fairly, a fairly effective system of being able to search all the inventory we get. So whatever, whenever we get a package from somebody and we vet it out and we confirm the, the availability and the viability of that particular list of properties, Matt puts it into his system. So that when you contact us and say, 
hey, we're looking for REOs in Michigan and these zips. He can search that and he can print you out a, a tape. Or if you contact us and say, I'm looking for portfolios in Arizona and in Cleveland and in Atlanta. He can then search for that and pull those out and make you a tape. So as opposed to you getting tapes like you do for many folks that, that are in this business that are sort of a hodgepodge or maybe a Frankenstein tape where it's got, you know, four different sellers. We don't do that. We're trying to be very narrowly focused on what your buying criteria is and how we can best serve you. So if you contact Matt at matt.castro91 at gmail.com, you can obviously call me as well or email me as well or call us or however you choose to. But Matt, you will learn, will be your, your primary interface. I generally don't get involved until which time there's an offer on the table or there's a discussion about protocol is when I'll pick up the phone and then go over what that particular seller's protocol is and what it's going to take to get a deal done. So matt.castro91 at gmail.com. If you'll tell them what your criteria is, where you're buying at, we can customize you a tape, make life a little bit easier for you. So with that, I will say Merry Christmas, everybody. We're almost to the end of the year and uh, breaking down for a holiday next year or next week, probably about the, uh, Wednesday the 23rd is when things will kind of come to a screeching halt. You got our phone numbers, you got our email addresses. We thank you for joining us and we look forward to talking to you all real soon. Thanks, everybody.